Hi, Bud. Hey, how you doing? I'm Peter Bellwood. Well, Peter, Very nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Very nice to meet you. I, uh, have been checking up on you a bit. Yeah, well. Huh? Yeah. You're a legendary sports writer. Your nickname is The Steamer. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you tell, tell us about I that? I can explain it very well. Please. In 1963, I was very ticked off that uh, the NASA Football League played games on the Sunday following the assassination of President Kennedy, and I threw a fit in the Coliseum press box, and a dear friend of mine uh, from Baltimore, John Stedman, says, Steamer, take it easy. And uh, just like I, I wrote a column called The Steamer. Right. And so he just went on like that. And from that day on, my kids, my grandkids, everybody's called me Steamer. Well, now, I'm an English person. I could tell that. Yeah. And to us, American football is two lines of heavily protected people running into each other and falling down. Yeah. Can you explain? That? Yeah, you're damn right I could explain it. Try it sometime. Well, you know, I, you guys, I, I've heard that stuff till I, you know, I, I'm blue in the face. I'm like, oh, you got these pads. Get in there and see what it's like to get hit by a 300 pounder and, 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 and tell me if you don't need pads. By the way, the pads have gotten smaller over the years. Uh, they, they used to, oh, they used to be humongous. But uh, now the, the shoulder pad is, oh my God, uh, it's about this big. Well, I played uh, rugby. I, I'm, Rugby's a tough game. I used to run at people with my head. I, uh, because yeah, I played look what's happened to you. Blind side wing <laughs> forward, which means that you run at the opposite guy no, with I, your head. I, I have a lot of admiration for ruggers. Always have. So were you, were you a West Coast writer primarily, or were you all over America? Uh, no, I, uh, I, uh, A, born in Ohio, where I learned to love football. You see, in Ohio, even the girls can play football. Right. Uh, and moved to uh, uh, the Los Angeles area when I was 15 and immediately discovered that I could see the greatest players in college football every Saturday from Section 27 at the Coliseum uh, for 50 cents. It's pretty good. Not bad, huh? And never, ever thinking that someday I would graduate to the press box. Yeah, very which cool. Which I did. The big, the big thrill for me coming to America was that for two bucks cover, I could see all the jazz greats that ever lived. You're a jazz fan? Yeah. Hell, you know, there was a time when I spent more, I spent more time in jazz clubs than I did ball games. Right. I mean, Count Basie is the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I came uh, over. Frank Sinatra is a, was a personal friend. Uh, Dean Martin, personal friend. Right. Uh, no, I, I've been blessed. Mark, I was just listening to Dean this morning. Right. And you know, he comes out to introduce him. And now, direct from the bar, and he, <laughs> he, he, they start his music. As, How long have I been on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, would you like me to explain cricket to you? No. Why not? You can't explain cricket. I guess I can. There's no excuse for cricket. Uh, uh, <laughs> come on. Hey, let, let me throw a high hard one at your ear. Instead of, what do they do? Those bowlers? There's, there's, no, there's not, no underhand throwing in cricket. No, it's just a space. Oh, it is overhand? Yeah. Do know. they throw it all? Do yes, they? yes. Oh. They throw down a hundred. You know who I love? Look, you know. Look. I love watching Joe Montana throw passes to Jerry Rice. Joe Montana, let me tell you. In 1978, uh, SC, my, my life was USC football. Right. That's my life, other than my joke. Right. And uh, in 1978, a referee by the name of Paul Kamansky called a fumble, an incomplete pass to this day when Montana sees me, that was a fumble. And he was right. But, I, I'm not but when you it. think about the beauty of American football, yeah. that team was beautiful. The Those hits. two guys were beautiful. What? Because Rice was always at full stretch. Oh, and, yeah. Rice was well, always my, at full stretch and he never broke my stride. Friend, I just don't, I, I don't care for professional football like I do USC. Right. USC is my life. Right. 
I'm in their Hall of Fame. Took a hell of a long time considering I was there when, it, when I, I helped to think up the the the, the uh, thing for which I'm in as a contributor. Now, did you write about these games or did you broadcast the games? Both. Right. I, I, I see, I was a sports editor of the L.A. Herald Examiner. I love that paper. It was the best. I love that I was paper. known as the most creative sports editor in America. Yeah. That's where I, I first... I don't mind telling people that. That's where I first read your stuff. Did you? Yeah. I mean, I didn't understand it, but I read it. <laughs> I like it. No, that's a good thing. Uh, as a young writer, I remember once that I used the word and a fellow by the name of Gene Coughlin, what's this mean? And I said, I, you know, I gave him the Webster. Oh, you looked it up, didn't you? I said, yeah. He said, well, let me tell you something. He says, you're a street guy. You write for the people in the street. And don't you ever forget it, and I never did. The day that I arrived in New York City, there were crowds of people outside every electronic store down Broadway. Yeah. And they were all watching Sandy Koufax pitch the World Series in 1963. I was there. Were you there? Yeah. He, he was, he looked really cool. I mean, Sandy Koufax is the greatest pitcher who ever lived. Don't argue with me, the case is closed. Well, I like you more and more, the more we talk. Yeah. Yeah, but you hate cricket. You'd love cricket if I explained it to you. I no, look, I don't have time. I, I, I have to break for tea. <laughs> well, we have tea breaks in cricket. I know oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Why I brought it up? 4:15 to 4:45. <laughs> yeah, right on the pitch. You know. Right on the pitch. We're just a Which Nancy. We call the field. We're a Nancy nation, really. And we used to be well, great. Hold it. Wait a minute. We used to be great. Whoa. We had an empire. I'm from Youngstown. What's that mean? We're a Nancy nation. Well, you know, so. Huh? Well, I don't know. Tell me. Well, we've been in decline since. Oh, the, oh, is that it? No, you're not in decline. Uh, we lost an empire. You get it back. No. They, they, th things happen. Things change. Uh, your day will come again. It's your day now. America's not day. Not my now. day. No. Uh, hell, I'm 80 years old. Are you 80? Yeah. I'm 66. But you look older than I do. Ha, 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 ha.